This conference will now be recorded. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, we'll start out with the village board special minute meeting or meeting minutes. And I believe that is just going to be Peter, myself, and Jason, because you two were not here for that meeting. I'll entertain a motion to accept those meetings. So moved. Second. Any discussion? Sure, thanks. All in favor? Aye. Aye, Aye. the mayor as well. And then the minutes from the Village Board Organizational Regular Meeting Minutes, which everyone was here for, entertain a motion for that. In the vote, second. Oh, sorry. I'm going to let everyone get it. <laughs> <laughs> Any discussion on any of that? Well, I'd like to uh, affectionately re um, refer to that Village uh, Organizational Meeting as the uh, lightning round. <laughs> it all got done, right? Okay, so no more discussion. Um, all in favor? All right. Aye. Okay, and that brings us to item C, which is village fee, parking fee update. And I believe that the recommendation from the group working on that is for an annual pass for workers which is unchanged resident and residents at $150, an annual transferable pass needed for short-term rentals at $1,000, contractor parking, including work vehicles and dumpsters at $50 a day, and Main Street Municipal parking lot would go to 75 cents an hour, and that would be 24 hours a day. And that's up from 50 cents an hour and $5 a day. <clears throat> It appears that we have to do the hours of chart, what, how long we're going to have the meters running has to go to public hearing. So we'll, we'll carve that out at this time. I thought we fixed that last time. I think just the fees, maybe. We just can do the fees. According to Janet, we can't do that. So um, I would entertain a motion for just the four items I mentioned first. So moved. All in favor? Aye. aye. Mayor votes aye as well. Janet, we didn't fix that last time. So just to, just to clarify, under the current local law regarding parking, the board of trustees by resolution can set and amend the rates for parking in the parking meter zones and set and and um, amend the maximum duration of time for parking by resolution. In other words. Uh, now we've got the two hour. The exceptions, so to anything in the uh, parking local law, um, are that the provisions do not apply to parking before, cannot be changed for because currently our parking is between 9 a.m. and 6 p.m., and that's an exception. Uh, and that also is an hours of when parking will be um, enforced. And the other thing is Sundays from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. That is still on the books as being accepted out of uh, the time frame for parking during parking to be uh, pay for parking, if you will. Because of the church respect. <laughs> Okay, so at this point, we need to do a public hearing for that if we're going to change that law. If you're going to amend the local law with regard to anything with the exception of rates and duration of time, it would be have to be done by a local law. Then we can do the local law but in the future. We can do it by resolution. Yes. Okay, so at this point, then I, we need a motion setting up the public hearing or making the amendment Janet? no we can't you can't set up a public hearing until i've drafted the local law because <laughs> okay. the notice of public hearing has to make that available so, so they, uh, yeah. uh, we'll have to whatever your the board's pleasure is in reviewing the parking local law maybe there's other changes that you'd like um 
So we should look at it in total, not just these two things that have come to light tonight. But we're also going to charge 24 hours in immunity law. Is that, does that apply as well? Yes, because um, <laughs> because of the times we're allowed to charge, right? Right. Okay, so we will be back in touch with you as to what we want so that you can draft it so that we can get it out to the public and we can set up a public hearing. Right. The, okay. other, the other point I'll just point out is that the other exceptions are all day on holidays. We're not currently supposed to be uh, charging. Ob the obvious things are we don't charge firemen if they're responding to an alarm. We don't charge uh, or officers or official village vehicles, nor do we ha have uh, police officers on duty performing a police function subject to the parking local law. Those are fine. Okay, great, thank you. So with that being said, are we just moving uh, Mayor with the, the 150 uh, normal parking? Well, the 150 was unchanged, the thousand dollar transfer will pass the uh, contractor and work dumpster fifty dollars a day, and then the are we bumping up to seventy five cents without the overnight? Or do we? Yeah, I guess that's thing? true. We can't go the overnight, can we? So, do we want to keep the the eight rate increase and independent, and then adopt it, or do you want to do that later? Uh, it's such a small amount. We made. What do you think? What's your pleasure? You're you're the committee on that. Anyone? No. I would say do it now because if I have to go to the programmers to change anything, I might as well do it all at once. Okay, but all we're going to be able to do is just during the day, correct? <clears throat> yeah, and that's fine. Um, but if we're going to change Between rates, nine and six. Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. Very good. What was the total per day then? Since that's what's good. There's not a work out to seventy-five cents an hour. Seventy dollars. So now we can't do it. Well, but we can go whatever the what is it? Between, no, seventy-five cents all day. Was it nine and five? Is that right? Nine yeah. to six. Well, and I think that one is set up to max out at five dollars, right? Because we have a five dollar a day rate in that parking lot, so we'll figure out whatever the day rate is, and I can set it at that if you want, or we can still do the five a day. It's entirely up to you. It sounds like you're doing away with the day rate, right? Let's let's just do away with the so day rate. So seventy-five cents an hour for the time period that we currently have. Okay. So so we we do the change it again, maybe as soon as we pass this local law. And that's fine, it, but the rate itself—it's two different rate tables. So the rates are on one table within the machine, and then the time frame in which you charge is in another table. So. Okay. Instead of, I mean, I can do it all at once. It doesn't really matter if you want to hold off on it. It's six dollars and seventy-five cents for the whole day. That's nine times seventy-five cents. If it's not a big problem, do away with the uh, five-dollar max. And just let it be seventy-five cents an hour. Right. And okay. then we'll change. It. Okay, good. Right. And we did already vote on that one. It's been so long. Okay. No, so, so to be clear, and I'll talk to you about this tomorrow. In in the main parking lots and the MBT lot, there's not going to be any maximum number of hours you can park. We're just talking about the municipal the main one. Yeah, yeah, okay. So there's not going to be any maximum number of hours. Yeah, the only thing we were talking about was before in the municipal lot, if once you hit $5, it was for the day. And that's what we're doing away with. We're not talking about the number of hours you parked there. We didn't have any restriction on number of hours in the big lots, did we? No. It was just on the street parking? Yeah. yeah on the street parking is two hours. Right. <clears throat> All right, oh. and, and also we're talking about parking. Um, I think another change probably to the um, parking local law is going to be uh, designation of a 15 minute loading zone. Is that true? Yeah, I think yeah. that's item K on the agenda. Okay, sorry. I was just staying on parking. <laughs> Janet, are the loading zones, do they have a time in the law or can we change that? 
The Lord is on the time. Right. So right now I will read you what it says. When official signs have been posted designating an area as a loading slash unloading zone, no person shall stop, stand, or park any motor vehicle in a loading slash unloading zone at the times and days posted, except for a commercial vehicle for the purpose of loading and unloading of merchandise, goods, and materials. Such parking of any motor vehicle for a period longer than that required for loading or unloading merchandise shall be deemed a violation of this article. So it seems to me that that language does not really apply to um, a 15 minute unload your gear and then, then move on because it also does, I think somewhere in here, talk about um if uh you if somebody if, if you come into a loading zone and it's all it's already full that you can just go to the nearest parking spot and i don't know that you want that for for um your purposes of the beach unloading that'll be good all right so it's the time of what's posted it's not even long so we can change it from three o'clock to one o'clock if we wouldn't the loading zone time pardon me peter we can change the loading zone times from three o'clock to one o'clock without without changing the law because it's posted well um I'd have to, uh, I, I didn't really look at that. I just read you what it says about loading zones. Should, do we want to review this at the next workshop? And then we can That's where I'm heading, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so let's, let's look at all that by the next workshop. Thank you, Jason. Okay, that moves us on to item D on the agenda, which is a highway department promotion. And that would be for Jacob Corson to move to labor, ME, MEA or MEO at a wage of $18.90 an hour. And that's according to the S of the CFDA contract. He has received a CDL license and this qualifies him for his pay increase. And he's an outstanding employee that Brad would like to move up. I would entertain a motion to so move through his promotion. I'll second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Can I just look back to see because we had a motion in the second. We never so voted on that. No, and I think we chose not to. Are we tabling all of it? No, we're tabling choosing. the second half. Just the second half. So okay. we're going to go with the, um, the rates. There's really only two at this point. Then it's the transferable pass at a thousand dollars and the contractor parking at fifty dollars a day. Because okay. then everything else. And, and I guess we are going to seventy-five cents pass. an hour yeah. in the right. muni lot. Okay. That was specifically mentioned the thousand uh, dollar. That's the trans transferable trans pass. Trans pass. Okay, and, it, and it's important to note that people are abusing the other pass that's supposed to be for a single user right now, using it as a transferable pass. So I think it's important to have an option for folks who need a transferable pass now. Yes. Okay. And then the other one was just something that's unchanged. So it's really just those three items. So you're you're good. Yeah. Okay. And we did we did pass. Or what kind of solution? Did, should we get a sticker or what? Instead of just a piece of paper? I think Billy had thought it was going to be just a different color permit or a hanger on a little different color hanger. I mean, to, 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 you just said the normal $150 one is being abused because they could have been multiple colors. Yeah, right now. Yeah. I mean, yeah. yeah. So it should it'd be a different color one. Mm -hmm. Or shouldn't it be a sticker, sticker that's actually yeah. attached to the vehicle? Because if you get a hanger, it's still transferable. Right. Unless there's a plate number assigned to it. There will be. That's the plate, plate number they're assigned to them now. That's correct. Yeah, but if it's not a sticker, if people can, are there plate numbers assigned to it? So it has to be in the enforcement thing. Right. Okay. okay. I'm sorry, but we don't. <laughs> uh, this was on highway department. I don't remember Peter ever talking this much in 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> well, Craig was talking to him. He's a 15 year. No, 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 no. Why don't 
he wrote on Jacob okay. just to yeah, sure. all in favor of I with motion. <laughs> motion passes. Okay. And then sadly, uh, we have a uh, resignation. I'll read that to you. It says, Dear Mayor and Board Members, this letter is inform you of my retirement from the Lake Placid Village, effective May 1st, 2021. It was heavy heart that I leave my position, which I have worked at for the past 25 years as tax collector. I have truly enjoyed working here and will miss all the people I have met throughout the years. Time to live life and enjoy warm weather during the winter months. Sincerely, Sharon Nugent. Um, I would entertain a motion to accept her resignation. Regretfully. Second. Um, now, we don't have to approve this, and she has to stay. Once <laughs> 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 it up the table, sorry, Sharon. Okay, right here. Good. Good. All in favor? Aye. 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 Well, Mindy, uh, have you uh, interviewed anyone? No, uh, we just closed the application period, so we're going to start making calls this week. Okay. I remember also that this is going to replace Karen. That was already done. This is yeah, makes sense, but we're going to be one short. Yep, that's right. Okay, um, item F destination management plan liaison. Um, I, like I said, I, I planned on that being you. I didn't want to force it on you, but you seem to have agreed. <laughs> so I'm all in favor with Jackie Kelly being our liaison to the destination management. Do I need a, do I be doing a formal motion? We need a motion. So I'm all in favor? Aye. 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 Well. It's incredibly important. Thank you, Jackie. Yes, thank you. Okay, and then item G is re review board appointment. And the review board appointment is Yolanda Raimondo. I'm close on that. Okay. So I'll remind the board that this has to also be approved by the town board. I believe they already have. Yes. At their yes, last they, meeting. I heard that they have. Okay. Okay. Um, do I have a motion to accept? I'll make the motion. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion passes. Okay, we also have a motion to um, approve the STR, the Short Term Rental Appeals Board appointment, and that is Andrew Teague. Do I have a motion to accept this motion? I'll make the motion. Second. Any discussion there? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion passes as well. Okay, and that brings us to item I, which is the Lake Placid Volunteer Fire Department Officers Candidates. You all have a copy of those. Um, I will read those. The Chief Engineer, which is what they call the head fire driver, is Michael St. Louis. First Assistant Chief will be Tori Hoffman. Second Assistant Chief, Adam Marshall. First Captain, Joshua Pelkey. Second Captain, Jennifer, Jennifer Marshall. Third Captain, Ryan St. Louis. Fourth Captain, Aaron Barney. Um, I entertain a motion to accept the slate. Ms. Red. Mm -hmm. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye as well. I'd just like to add that uh, special thanks again to Tori Hoffman. He was a, a holdover during COVID last year and he ended up putting in two years. But thank him for his services and we'll wish Michael St. Louis all the best in the coming year. That brings us to our bench dedication. Uh, we have two of them. You have the names here. We can take them together if you like or separately. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Um, and you saw the, the notation of the kissing bench on the, the land, making sure that's okay with everybody. <laughs> Any discussion on that? <laughs> Ugh, me too. <laughs> I mean, I'm just wondering if it's politically correct. Which is it? Uh, is that what they wanted on it? They wanted on it. Looking not politically correct. Well, yeah. it's not harmony and all that kind of thing, but isn't that a COVID issue? <laughs> <laughs> well, not if you kiss somebody you live with. A new pod. That's so fun. <laughs> <laughs> Do I hear a motion to pass both the benches? So moved. A second. Second. Any more discussion? 
All in favor? Aye. Motion passes as well. I just started with Joe Lamb. He said the one that was removed now from one main part is his grandfather, his grandparents. It's not the new one for his parents, but the other one was it has to be replaced in the park. Everything was side by side. Well, yeah, I don't know where nobody knows where these are going. No, that's that's right. That's right. Okay, item K is the 15 minute unloading zone for the canoe and kayak. Any discussion there? Who would like to make a motion? Me. <laughs> and Peter, second. Yeah. All in favor? Uh, Aye. Motion passes. Mm -hmm. So we got to get Brad to work to get a sign. Mm, yeah. I'll tell so, Brad. Department so we'll, we'll go back to what I said earlier under our existing parking. Uh, code it does de define loading zones quite differently from what the purpose of this loading zone is. So I think it'll have to be made clear what what this uh, zone is for because um, if we just call it a loading zone as defined in our code, it's as I read it to you, which is for the loading unloading of merchandise goods and materials. Um, so, Janet, what's the wording like in the 15 minute zone? I know there are 15 minute zones in the park and code too. Uh, I don't see any 15 minute zones right as I'm flipping through here, um, Mark. Oh, because there, there, there are them already. <laughs> we have signs for them. Okay. Well, th those are, you mean, those are in the uh, existing loading zones where they talk about during certain hours? Is that what you're referring to? Well, there's 15-minute parking right across from MBT Bank, so if you need to go to the bank, you can just park there and run in. So uh, not... That's in the parking lot, then I'm sure there's nothing in the code about that. Not very. We want to expand that once we redo that. Right. Make more of them. Okay. Pardon me again. So we've got a first and second. All in favor? Aye. 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 And it passes as well. Okay. We did that, I think, already, but now we've really got it. So item I, sorry, uh, is wastewater treatment, and that is to send Carol Macy. Uh, it's not to send her. It is virtual training. It's a two-day course, and it is $90 for both days. It'll be on Tuesday, May 18th, and Wednesday, May 19th. And this is for her annual technical training workshop. Do I hear a motion to approve this? So moved. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion passed as well. Okay, and this is the last item on here. Item M is just the NICOM annual meeting, June 9th through the 11th. This is just to let any trustee that would like to go be approved to go and we also include um david corson in this or not i don't think it is specific to him i right. could ask him but I, I don't think it's really for judges okay we, it's, he's never gone to this is just for the, the board right okay but not village clerks or treasurers no this, this is really to my understanding um more for well uh, mindy do you have any one? interest uh, i shouldn't speak for you but i thought that i don't really more... think i mean nikon has some um new york state controller stuff that comes out but um i get most of that from gfoa and i attend that once a year so i don't feel it necessary for me to go i think this is pretty specific to the mayor and trustees yeah no you don't have to come up with a lot of <laughs> the september meeting is the one that that's the one that's more open that's to right. everybody yeah okay so, um, they do say they're limiting it to 150. I know both the mayor and Jackie are interested. So anyone else, uh, let me know as soon as possible. Okay, uh, I know you have school. Um, so yeah, if you do intend to go, let her know immediately. I, I would highly recommend. Okay, do I entertain a motion to approve the board members going if they approve? So like, second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. That motion passes as well. Do you plan on going? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, anything else to come under clerk items? Uh, no, there is not. Okay, that moves us into treasure items. And 
Okay, and do I hear a motion to accept after the number I'm 17? Right. Just a second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Uh, Passes as well. Mindy, anything else to come under treasury items tonight? No, not at this time. Okay, very good. Let's see. Um, any new business come before the board tonight? You are so lucky. Any old business? <laughs> well, um, I think I spoke to you. The other day, I asked Jay about the trolley, uh, Planet Express, and the GPS, and having an app so oh. people know where the trolley is, so they know if it's going to be signed. So I'm in. And um, we called Jim Dugan from the county. Yep. And he's the guy who's responsible for the trolley system. Okay. And um, People know where it is, more user friendly. We're going to get more riders, and they're going to the whole system's based on miles and number of riders mm -hmm. as far as the grant money is concerned. And he got all not so nice, and he said, um, You're misunderstanding the way the grant program works. I'm like, well, anyway, he agreed to come up and explain this to us. Okay. And to research, he said he applied for a grant for new GPS, um, but that didn't come through. I guess I was being too pushy for his style. No. Yeah. Anyway, at the end of our conversation, got a lot nicer, and he wants to work with us to improve. But he said he basically said until two years ago, why didn't you guys do it? Like we ran the house uh, system one was one year two four years ago. But it was one before. Yeah, and. Um, so, but the simplest thing was just to, for us to give the drivers a cell phone and have a rideshare app, and then people could like so Last Express app. I don't, I don't know how technical any of this or how difficult it would be. It seems to be, you know, like Uber. You know exactly where your Uber is. It's based on the guy's cell phone. Right. So you, maybe so one say five minutes, two minutes, but it will show where the trolley is at any given time, and the people could make a determination if they want to wait for it, um, at the very least. But I, I don't know enough about it to be informed. So maybe we can invite him to a workshop yeah. and see what we can do. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Peter, Peter, could uh, Patrick help with something like that? Just thinking. I'm sure the guy's brilliant. I know. <laughs> I know. But I'm wondering if, if you had a discussion with him, if he'd have some have some ideas as to maybe how an app could uh, work or something else. Okay, I'll ask him. And then you could, if we can come up with a solution, then maybe you could talk to the supervisor that's in touch with the county. Yep, that's fine. I don't know if that, that I guess that was old business. Do we, uh, yeah. You'll, you'll continue to pursue that. Yeah, yeah. Let us know. Yeah, I agree. Anything else under old business? Um, under mayor items, I just have one item. It's the village cleanup is going to be on May 1st, which is Saturday, and it's going to be a virtual cleanup this year. And by that, I mean they're not gathering in the park as they have, there's not going to be pizza, whatever, as best in the past. It's going to be basically, you can either go on her Facebook page, which is Andrea Grout, and that Facebook page is uh, Lake Placid Annual Cleanup Day, or you can go to her website, which is lpvillagecleanup at gmail.com, and you can sign up to do different, do different streets. She also gave us her phone, phone number, which is 518-524-3832. Uh, it's a good cause. Hopefully, everyone will get out and help. Unfortunately, last year COVID shut us down on that. There also will be um, gloves, I believe, and safety precautions and bags available. But you can get all that from her Facebook or her website. Okay, and that's all I have for mayor items. Any commissioner reports? You all been down at the construction site? Uh, yeah, beautiful thing. It's quite a I mean, the street is no, that was not what I envisioned, you know, as for the park, but um, yeah, <laughs> I was thinking more of like dirt, 
and whatnot. But um, yeah, I think this is more of a conversation with Brad. There just seems to be some um, the signing, the signage, because there just seems to be some parking that would be run that seems to be kind of blocked up by cones. And I and I get that. I drove through there on Saturday though, and there was a couple of people parked in there because they have an outlet around. I just don't think it's clear that you can go in there. And I think that's when that's you're assertive enough. If you're not assertive enough, you're just going to keep going. And I think that's. Um, I was I received some communications that we could maybe possibly address that. Well, here's also what I know is that they. I think Kabricki would have worked on Friday. But the state is the one that really didn't want them working. They were afraid that the chance we did get snow, they didn't want the street torn up and damaging our clouds. Okay. So that's really going to work. That, that's, that's, they work work. Work. That's, that's why they didn't. I mean, if, if you really did watch the weather, it looked like it was pushing off sure. the east. But that's the reason they didn't. Plus, the state wanted the cones on the trench that was dug, the new coal patch that was put back. Mm -hmm. And that's why the cones had to be the left. And that's why the dis discrepancy. And I do agree with you, and I've talked with Brad about that, that, and even our police department wasn't really sure where the cones should or shouldn't go and if you should park there. But yes, you could have parked there in hindsight, and in the future, Brad's going to talk with the police department and let them know so that people will know. Okay. And we'll, we'll try to get this out on the with case. Okay, perfect. And hopefully as we move down, unfortunately, the first people on Main Street had to be the guinea pigs for how it'll yeah. set the tone going through. I, I drove down the wrong way. Just because I wasn't paying attention to the signage, and then as people, I was like, "This doesn't seem right." <laughs> and so, luckily, there wasn't a lot of people, so I could just turn around. Lane of your own. Right? Yeah, I was just I'm like, ah, "On the west right. street, it'll be easier because the water line shifted now to the west side, yeah. where it was mm -hmm. on the east side. Now it's, it should be easier from now on." Yeah, the, the signage uh, initially was, you know, is people. If the one suggestion I did receive was that when you're at the stop sign coming from the mural again, there's it says traffic this way, even if that was taken and put almost like in front of one of the cones. So there's a couple of people that did drive down, like better, obviously, I think there were tourists, we were locals, but if it was more help where they say, hey, right where that big cone is, you have to take a right. Instead of because it's, it is kind of high up on the stop sign. Right now. We could mention it, but unfortunately, a lot of this stuff is a DOT detour. We can't change anything, but we can mention it. Okay, that, that's the only thing that I heard other than the parking and not knowing, and then uh, seeing some people that are not from here driving down the wrong way. Because the, and I look up and like, here's the stop sign, here's the sign. Let's, let's go this way. The other thing you might have heard that happened was the Elgin blew a hydraulic line. Our main line of defense for keeping the, the dirt and dust down, but I saw it go by this morning, so the line was ordered, was put on. It was going by later that day after the Well, it was I saw the line and flatbed down to the garage. Yeah, but then it was out later that day. Was it because somebody was like, oh, the street sweeper? I think yeah, I okay. heard it was. Yeah, that was, it was <laughs> back. Yeah, yeah, good. So it's back in service now. Anything else under commissioner reports? Okay. Any questions? I don't know if Elizabeth is on or not. It looks like Andy's on. Andy's on. Any, any questions? Can you hear me okay? Yes, we can. Hey, all right, great, thanks. Uh, just two questions I have for now. Um, the canoe kayak unloading zone, where, where did you say that is? It's going to be over by the tennis courts towards where the boat launch is on Mirror Lake. It's the last okay. parking spot toward the lake before the entrance to the park. Okay, on the on the side where the on the side where the brewer, the where the brewery is? No, the other side. The other side. On the park side. Um no, on the that's on Mirror Lake Drive. If you were to pull into that area to go into the beach, it would be the first parking spot on your left. Basically where it used to be. <laughs> yeah, and if you, if you do remember before we took away parking when we put the sidewalk in, and that's where the 15-minute parking slot was. So it'll it'll basically be just a little bit further back from where it was. Okay, so we've had several people ask us, and it is a it is a hazard when you stop and you try to unload. You've got your children there, and it's nice to be able to let them get out of the street, and then the spouse or someone go park the car. But that's the reason we put that back. Right, but it's across the street from the hotel, is what you're saying. That's correct, exactly. Okay, yeah, I remember I remember where the old one was. Yeah. 
So um, the other question was, um, I know with the parking changes, uh, Janet will need to draft a local law to be approved to set up a public hearing to make those changes, specifically the hours, right? And um, did you did you officially direct Janet to do that, or do you have to? Or I don't remember that part. Well, for us to have. I got a... the message, Andy. I got the message. <laughs> okay, so, so you okay? So that will happen. I think what your that... question is for us to do this, we have to have a law so the public can read it, so they know whether they want to come and be part of the discussion, and that's what Janet will write up for us. Well, I understand. I just didn't know whether you need to pass a resolution to ask Janet to do that, but basically you told her that, you know, please do that, and she's going to will be doing that. She's on it. Correct? Yeah. Yeah. With, with the caveat that we're going to look at the entire parking local law to see if there's other changes that are appropriate at this time. Gotcha. Okay. And once that's... Um, all ready and and uh, we'll take a look at it and and then go from there a public hearing will have to be uh done before it's approved correct absolutely yes. awesome okay those are the only questions i have is there anybody thank else thank you andy okay if that's the case i would accept a motion to adjourn i'll make a motion second all in favor? Aye. 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 Aye